Mm. As we've been expecting for many months, the U.S. Supreme Court has redefined marriage in all 50 states, overriding the will of the people in most of those states. Now, we're not surprised and we're not overwhelmed, but even as much trouble and mischief as the redefinition of marriage is about to bring on Christians, there is a much more significant and larger problem at hand. Here's what Chief Justice Roberts wrote in his dissent. The majority's decision is an act of will, not legal judgment. The right, it announces, has no basis in the Constitution or this court's precedent. Justice Thomas echoed that theme. The court's decision today is at odds not only with the Constitution, but with the principles upon which our nation was built. So that's a constitutional problem. Beyond that, the majority on the court, including both Obama appointees, offered tepid support for religious freedom. The First Amendment ensures that religions, those who adhere to religious doctrines and others, have protection as they seek to teach the principles that are so fulfilling and so central to their lives and faiths. Of course, freedom of religion is not just the freedom to teach, it's the freedom to act upon what you believe. And that action is now deemed illegal by five justices on the Supreme Court. And that's why Justice Alito and all of America find no comfort in those weak words. I assume that those who cling to old beliefs will be able to whisper their thoughts in the recesses of their homes, but if they repeat those views in public, they'll risk being labeled as bigots and treated as such by governments, employers, and schools. So here's some encouragement for you as we find our way. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.